Hi, a warm welcome to you. In this video, we will look into the concept of discount and some examples how to resolve the problems related to discount. So, whenever you visit a mall or a departmental store, you will be looking at an article. If you want to buy an article you are interested in, you will be looking at the price on the article. The price which is written on the article is known as market price. also known as advertised price or catalog price. And next to the price, sometimes you will see a tag saying 10% off or 15% off. Whatever the reduction in the market price you are getting from the merchant, this is called as discount. Generally, the discount is given to attract the customers or to clear or to clear the raw material or the goods and also to increase the market share. Suppose let's suppose let's have a look at 20% of discount scenario. How we have to represent this? As we said earlier, there is market price and there is discount. The difference is nothing but the price at which the customer is buying the product or the merchant is selling the product. So, three important players in this whole area of discount is market price, then we have net price or sale price and discount. Discount is nothing but the difference of market price minus net price. Discount percentage is nothing but equal to discount by market price into 100. This very clearly tells us that discount is always measured with respect to market price. Market price is the price which the customer sees on the article. So the discount is always calculated with respect to the market price. Now let's step back and look at how this whole chain of cost price to market price looks like. For that, let us say that a merchant buys an article at a cost price. So, from his pocket, he took the money and he bought it. This is the cost price. Now, he want to sell it to make profit. This is nothing but his sell selling price or sale price. Now in between the cost price in this transaction when he brought some bought something and he wants to sell it off, he is making either a profit or loss. Depends upon whether he sold it for less or he sold it for more. And remember always profit or loss is always measured with respect to cost price. Now. Once he want to sell the product, he has calculated how much percentage of profit he want to get on the article. Sometimes he will select directly at the sale price, but sometimes he will publish or he will offer a discount on the product by stating the market price. The market price is nothing but the advertised price of the article and the discount is always measured with respect to the market price. So this is how the total chain looks like. Now let us look mostly into this part of the chain which we are interested in this particular video. So let us take a simple example and see how we have to represent this. Without remembering any formulas, just by using the unitary method, we should be able to solve any problems in discount. Now I am going through a problem and I have read that there is a 20% discount. What is the meaning of that? Immediately, once I see the 20% discount, my first, inter my first reaction will be to put on the paper market price, sale price or net price and a discount. I know discount is always measured with respect to the market price. 20% says that 20% is 
says that if 100 is the market price you will get 20 rupees or 20 dollar discount so i know that my market price is 100 my discount is 20 so my sale price is nothing but equal to 100 minus 20 this has to be very very clear always remember discount is measured with respect to the market price now with this with this concept and a little background on discount we are ready to solve some problems let's go ahead and solve some problems okay i already noted some problems grading from simple to medium may not be complicated but simple to medium so i'll just go through them and see how we can apply the concept first let me take the, this example the first example states that after allowing a discount of 20 percent i will note it down here so that after allowing a discount of 24 percent a coat was sold for 1672 rupees so we know this is discount percentage and this is the sale price or the net price we have to find out the market price so let me go ahead and write down that the first problem i will say sale price or sp is equal to 1672 given to me very clearly and also i was told the discount is 24 percent so i know discount equal to 24 percent once i have seen discount equal to 24 percent my first reaction will be to put down the table MP, SP and discount. This is my market price, this is my sale price or net price and this is the discount. Let me imagine that the market price is 100. If the market price is 100, I know I will get 24 rupees of discount. So my sale price is 76. But we have been already given that the sale price is 1672. So I want to find out the market price. This is pretty simple. I can just go for a cross multiplication. That gives me market price is equal to 1672 into 100 by 76. This is nothing but equal to, I am just simplifying it easily. You can actually do the calculation. It takes a little bit of time. This becomes 2200. I think this is clear. The whole point is you should be able to represent this immediately whenever you look at a discount. You don't need to remember any formula. The formula actually comes down to this only or this goes to the formula. It's the same. Instead of remembering the formula, always take your market price as 100 whenever you see MP. Similarly, in the cost price, sale price, always take your CP as 100. The whole point is either profit or loss is measured with cost price similarly discount is measured with market price so if i have a 24 percent discount that means every 100 rupees i will get 24 rupees discount if i mark my market price as 100 rupees then my discount will be 24 immediately i know that sale price is nothing but 100 minus 24 now in this problem the sale price is given as 1672 so i am trying to find out what is the original sale price so we have started the problem by assuming that the market price is 100 and we are able to find out what is the actual market price. I hope it is clear. So let's go ahead and do one more problem which is also simple before we move into the medium problems. This is the second problem. A pair of earrings, I will just note down here itself so that I don't need to move it. A pair, a pair of earrings were marked for sale at 1500. Marked for sale, that gives me whether it's a sale price or market price. Marked for sale, that is nothing but it is MP. Yeah. It is nothing but MP. So, MP, always remember, look at this marked 
that means marked for sale that means it is written on the article or earrings jewelry that it is 1500 rupees market price is 1500 rupees after allowing a discount of 10 percent so he has given a discount of 10 percent to the customer but still he made a profit of 25 by 2 percent I have just simplified it 12 1 by 2 is 25 by 2 percent find out what is SP what is CP very interesting right let's go ahead and solve this I know that the market price is 1500 discount is 10 percent profit is 25 by 2 percent find out SP and CP see here I know market price if I am able to calculate the discount then I can say SP is nothing but equal to MP minus discount or I can calculate that using MP and D then once I get the sale price then I can go back with this profit and find out the cost price so our first step will be to find out SP for that I know that the discount is 10 percent so I will go ahead with the table I will say MP SP and D if I have assumed that market price is 100 my discount is 10 and sale price is 90 if I know already that the market price original is 1500 I want to find out what is the sale price this is nothing but SP is equal to I can discard this I am interested in this part so I know that sale price original is nothing but equal to 90 into 1500 by 100 this is nothing but equal to 1350 now let's look at the second part of the problem the second part of the problem is to find out CP to find out CP we know the to find out CP we know that I have to go for the table CP SP and profit so we know that he wants to make a profit of 25 by 2 percent that means if cost price is 100 profit is 25 by 2 for every 100 rupees so the SP is nothing but 100 plus 25 by 2 but we know from the one that SP is equal to 1350 now I can go back and find out this I don't need the profit in this particular calculation even though it's needed to calculate the SP I'll be focusing on this so CP is nothing but equal to I can say 100 into 100 into 1350 that's nothing but cross multiplication 100 into 1350 divided by this if I simplify this 200 plus 25 is 225 so I can write 225 into 2 I am just simplifying this you have to spend some time on that but it simplifies to 1200 so the CP is 1200 the SP is 1350 and the market price is 1500 this is the whole transaction by taking here a profit of 25 by 2 percent and a discount from the market price of 10 percent I hope you are with me and you got it before winding up let's look at another simple example let us look at another example here 
we have time to do one which one we will do we will do all either the three or the four we will do the four okay four looks to be simple so we'll go ahead with four i don't want to make it complicated for you okay an overcoat overcoat was marked at 60% above its cost price you have to be very careful when you are going through the sentences and understand what was given so i know the cycle is cp sp mp in between i have profit or loss and here i have the discount so let us see what is the information given to us an overcoat was marked at 60% above its cost price always my cost price i go with 100 so i'll put here cost price is 100 marked at 60% that means indirectly he is telling me market price is nothing but equal to 160 i think you got it 60% above its cost price that means for every 100 it is 60 more so if cp is 100 mp will become 160 what percent discount should be given for getting a gain of 20% he wants to make a profit of 20% in this transaction and he wants to fix the market price at 160 but also the cost price is 100 okay now let's use this profit and cost price and find out what is the sale price once i know the sale price then i can take mp and sale price and find out the discount what i am saying is we will do this in two steps first steps we will find out what is sp by using we'll find out what is sp by using cp and p second step we'll find out discount percentage by using sp and mp because we found the sp just now from one now let's go ahead and do this i know cp I know yes I know the equation CP SP P CP is 100 the profit he wants to make is 20 that means SP should be 120 and P should be 20 now let's go to here here the discount I have to find out but I know the market price so here my table will be market price sale price and the discount you know the market price we have found it in the first statement of the problem that it is 160 and we found that what is the sale price that is nothing but equal to 120 so the difference of this is nothing but the discount and we know the discount is always calculated with respect to the MP so I'll just discard this I will say for 160 rupees 40 rupees discount for 100 how much this is nothing but 100 into 40 by 160 that's nothing but 25 percent so the whole transaction is if I have if my CP is 100 I take 20 percent profit my SP will become 120 but if my market price is 160 which is 60 percent more than CP 60 percent more than CP then I have to give 25 percent discount that is what we have found I hope these problems are a bit useful and you were you felt very comfortable using this so that's about the discount please let me know your feedback by mailing me or giving your valuable comment you can mail me at loveteachingmaths at gmail.com which is also available on my homepage. thanks for visiting bye for now thank you